Hello, my name is Elina Grigoriou. I'm the Design and Sustainability Director of Grigori Interiors, an interior design uh, company that I co-own with my sister Angeliki. From an interior designer's point of view, when we're asked to design a sustainable interior, the overarching principles we're looking to actually meet or target include um, the actual procurement of materials themselves, all the way to the actual method in which the subcontractors and suppliers will actually deliver them to site. Before we even get, though, to the actual nitty-gritty detail, what we're looking for is the actual strategy itself. So how long is this interior going to be there for? Because what we're actually starting to investigate is the life cycle itself. So the differences between a retail interior and a commercial or public interior will actually be dramatically different. So the selection from an interior designer's point of view should actually reflect the impacts um, of those spaces. And the use of those spaces is actually what makes the biggest difference. So as an interior designer, I must understand how the actual users, um, whether those are staff working in a workplace or customers coming into a retail space, will actually use and um, create impacts through that occupation. That could be from switching on the lights to using a chair in a specific way or um, cleaning the carpets at a particular rhythm and timescales. So part of our thinking as interior designers is to understand how is this all going to happen, what are the actual impacts, and then ensure that we're designing with those in mind to create something that can be sustained for every single project.